you know, that's catastrophic to a family. I always say there's blood, sweat, and tears that have been put in for many, many years. And now the family just lets it go to the government without any kind of planning. It's ridiculous. Talk about just the massive amount of opportunity and, and or pain that a lot of people are going to face with this $84 trillion estimated transfer in the next 20 years if they don't have a clear plan for the estate tax. Yeah, and, and just in general, you know, when you build a significant amount of wealth in entities or in real estate, um, at some point in time, someone is going to be in a position where they're going to have to pay taxes on that at death without proper planning. And in, even in that, the tax bill may be there, but you've got to make sure the tax bill is funded or a percentage, you know, as you said, if we have a hundred million, we're looking at close to $50 million of that estate gone without doing any planning at all. And even if you do some basic planning, you're going to be at 40%. You know, that's catastrophic to a family. I always say there's blood, sweat, and tears that have been put in for many, many years. And now the family just lets it go to the government without any kind of planning. It's ridiculous. Absolutely. And it becomes a part where it's stewardship, right? Not being a great steward and right. or not, not being willing to be, um, uh, to be coached and or to do the planning or all of the things. And that's part of why we're here, by the way, uh, here at Capital Gains Tax Solutions. We also have estate tax solutions as well. Um, and we wrote a book called Building a Capital Gains Tax Exit Plan. And our goal is to give you clarity on your options right. um, and also solutions to those big challenges using what's called the Deferred Sales Trust as our niche focus. It's not the only end all be all, but we found it's the most flexible uh, durably test it with legal track record um, and uh, the ability to solve the problem, which is eliminated that estate tax and the deferring that cap capital gains tax while still being able to be an entrepreneur uh, or be retired, you know, be passive or active, have liquid investments, um, not to have to be in debt.